This is Donald Judd, Untitled Series. Hello, brethren. My group today, consisting of Garrigo M., Robert Castro, and myself, will be covering Donald Judd and his series known as Untitled. Donald Judd was a minimalist artist from Excelsior Springs, Missouri. He was born in 1928 and is best known for his sculptures. Most of his sculptures were completed post-World War II, and he is best known for his series known as Untitled, more specifically, the stacks within this series. The materials of each series he designed varied from wood, aluminum, and types of steels to different colored plexiglass. His untitled series is composed of different materials stacked on different intervals. For example, in his 1969 stack, Judd uses brass and colored plexiglass on steel brackets. This stack had 10 units at 6 inch intervals. In his most famous stack, Judd uses a brass bar over a series of five steel boxes in the color cadmium red. Cadmium red would become known as his signature color in his sculptures. In his 1967 stack, which was horizontal instead of vertical, Judd uses measured geometry to increase the box size from left to right. Donald Judd would actually draw his ideas first and then sell it to the Bernstein Brothers manufacturing firm who would then fabricate it. Donald Judd's artwork is best characterized as a rejection of traditional sculpture and traditional painting. Donald Judd refers to his artwork as something that exists in its own environment. Donald Judd made so many of these works by using a design compromise of repeated geometric objects that could be produced from a machine in bulk. Judd has often been criticized for what people refer to as a lack of content. Judd counters this because he says his artwork is simple to call into question traditional art and force contemplation on what art truly is. Judd does not attempt to make his work abstract expressionism. Abstract expressionists emphasize more personal context. Instead, Judd employs a simple yet meaningful context. Minimalism was a movement that emerged in New York around 1960. The artists who were part of the minimalist movement went against traditional art that they referred to as stale and academic. The minimalist movement favored sculpture that was made from industrial materials that avoided symbolism and emotional content. Minimalism has often been referred to as ABC art. Minimalism also included a reaction against traditional music. The minimalists disliked the intellectually sophisticated style of music. The musicians use simple harmonies that are usually repeated multiple times. And now we are going to examine how the historical time period when Judd made his art influenced his artistic methods. Donald Judd made most of his art from the 1950s to the 1980s. This was the post-war art period when the center of the art world shifted from Paris to New York where Judd lived for the majority of his life. The Cold War, World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War changed the way that American artists perceived the world. Artists were beginning to experiment with many new styles. Judd's style of art, minimalism, was a main style of the post-war art period, along with others including abstract expressionism, neo-data, pop, and conceptual art. Although he was not directly affected by the wars, you can definitely see a avant-garde protest to the conventional impressionist and modernist periods that came before him. For example, Judd's works were meant to not represent anything except the subject, whereas impressionist paintings had colors that were supposed to represent the artist's feelings and emotions. Judd further protests from conventional artwork by stating in his 1965 essay titled Specific Objects that his art did not classify as sculpture nor painting. Now let's see how Judd's simple techniques come together to form a work that continues to influence artists today. In Judd's work, Untitled 1969, he simply displays 10 identical geometric boxes made of brass and red plexiglass on top of each other against a blank white wall. The boxes are each 2 feet by 2 feet and 3 inches and have 6 inches of space in between them. The size of the boxes forces the viewer to confront the work in relation to their own bodies and have a new experience of space. It almost seems as if Judd incorporates space as one of his materials. The sheen and reflection off of the brass on the sides of the boxes along with the see-through plexiglass windows on the top and bottom of each box creates a coloristic effect of translucency. For example, the red plexiglass sets off a glow onto the box and the blank wall around it. 
The simplicity of the work was intended to place the importance of the purity of the objects themselves over any symbolic meaning they might have. Judd's Untitled 1969 is a work that fits concisely with the space and objects around it, a perfection that provides clarity to the viewer. This is our own representation of Judd's work, Untitled in 1969. As you can see, the identical boxes uh, invade the space of the viewer just like the effect of Judd's work. One work to compare to Judd's work is Piet Mondrian's composition with red, blue, and yellow. These two works are similar primarily in one way. They are both non-representational. They are different in that Judd's piece is a sculpture, whereas Mondrian's piece is a painting. One difference is that they are from different periods. Judd's work from minimalism and Mondrian's work from the Chantillon. The series of works labeled Untitled are in the book primarily because they marked a period of revolution for the minimalist movement. <laughs> it is a perfect, I mean perfect, example of the transition from art with representational meaning to art with no representational meaning. Now let's go down to the street for some reactions. Okay, so I'm here with Austin San Juan, and today we're gonna ask him uh, if this work by Donald Judd, labeled untitled, should be in our art history textbook. So what do you think, Austin? Um, I think it should because these modernist works have a uh, significance even though Maybe nobody knows it except the author or the creator of the work. It's just uh, some significance. Great response. Thank you for your input. Are we out here. Playground. All right. So it's your boy. Do you guys think this piece should be in an art history textbook? No. no! 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 Okay, I'm here with. And today we're gonna ask uh, Mr. Ledesma whether or not this piece should be in our history textbook. So, what do you think? Why not? Because when I looked at it, I felt that I can make out of it whatever I want. <coughs> Bloopers! <laughs> Robert, I swear, I swear to God. <laughs> One word to compare Judd's work to is he has some wrong. Life is over. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, delete the video. Delete the video. No, guys, no. no. Look, look Don't delete it. it. I'm the host. Yes, you know. Oh, why did you not go with the box? Do anything. It was you.